Hey guys, welcome back. So I just literally finished watching Red vs. Blue Season 10 uh, not 30 seconds ago. I've just finished and um, wrapped it all up and it was amazing. So uh, like I said in that one, I feel like it was the end of the Red vs. Blue saga. Or it just felt like a big farewell and a goodbye and a tidy little bow was uh, just pulled taut and it was all done. So moving forward into Season 11, Episodes 1, 2 and 3, I've got no clue what to expect. I don't know, are we going to have the same characters with us again, a whole bunch of new characters, new location, new mission, I, I don't know. So at the end of the previous episode, and I'm just getting comfortable there, uh, Carolina and Church were off to find some of the um, the freelance attack that had turned up in somebody's possession and they wanted, they wanted to go get it back. So I don't know if we're going to follow them or if it's just, you know, all the freelancer stuff is just put to bed and we're moving on to a, a whole new thing. But um, I really wanted to dive into episode, well, season 11, because I'm just so immensely curious about what's next. I need to know. So, without further ado, season 11, episodes 1, 2, and 3. Holy, holy crap. 3, 2, 1, go. Journal entry 101. It's been a while since I've done one of these, so uh, let's get caught up to speed. Everything can be traced back to Project Freelancer. A military right. organization got horribly wrong. Men in charge were corrupt, and the soldiers who followed them were blind. And guess which side I was on. Eventually, it was the project's own creations that tore it to pieces, and I was the one sent out to pick them up. I recovered weapons, armor, and AI fragments, all in an effort to keep the wrong people from getting them first. But I was too slow. Everyone fought over the remnants of Project Freelancer. I didn't think I could believe in anyone anymore. This is Washington, then, right? I met the Reds and Blues. Yeah. Hey, Caboose, hello. Oh, we are still with them. For, for me? Oh, well, you should have. They had been this is their new home, the right? Just like I had. They were cannon fodder in a conflict with no purpose. Look at this CGI. Tucker, the Reds gave us a proposition. We should really send them back some sort of thanks basket. Like, for a proposition just means a choice, you idiot. Oh. We will take the fuzzy one. But you don't even know what the proposition <laughs> is yet. Well, then we don't know that it isn't fuzzy now, do we? They were just stupid enough to trust. Together, we were able to put an end to everything. The freelancers, the AI, even the director of the whole operation. Dead. They're all gone. All and done. Us, well, we're shipwrecked. Crashed during our ride home. And if we're not rescued soon... The feeling something else might find us first. They're marooned. Agent Washington signing. Oh, oh, nice. Now? Where are they? Where are we? I thought it was the Gulch. It's not the Gulch. It. Who and Sam Hill said this thing to invert it? Well, sir, Too many clips. Most users enjoy a digger burger. Well, I mean, it was probably Griff, sir. Hey, what the fuck is going on out here? Who's firing in our base? So we're still with the team. Of course we are. I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Even when he's uh, looking at him, he's still gonna fire. Don't try to butter me up. Also, please refrain from pointing that at me. Fine. We were just borrowing the tank for a little construction work. Really? And which one of my men authorized this? It was my man. Probably. Sarge, get out of the tank. Not a chance, Blue. Positions nine tenths of the law. The other tenth is a tank. I've got both. It's Besides, a tank. We need to upgrade our quarters. Your quarters are fine. Yeah. Now get out of the tank, you senile fucking son of a bitch. Woo. Out. Now. My turn. Please. <laughs> got him. My turn. This is an outrage. Blue base is built directly below the crash site. You've got an unfair advantage. Sarge, the reds and blues aren't fighting. We're just camped at opposite ends of the canyon in color divided teams. Yes. I'm not fighting. True. But have you ever considered that fighting is just in our nature? It's almost instinctual. If we're not constantly trying to stab each other in the back, we'll surely die. Dear God, I hate you. That's the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> we may not be fighting, but you're still way closer to the food storage than we are, and that is something I will not stand for. You won't stand for anything, fat ass. If you were a few feet closer, you'd be sorry. If we don't keep calling him fat. We'll all be sorry. We've yet to get our communications dish online, and if we run out of food before we 
can radio for help, we're screwed. Buzzkill. Come on, Caboose. We need to go have a chat with Private Tucker. There goes the revered leader of the Blue Army. What a dick. Fine! We don't need that tank anyway! As many great 21st century movie trailers once said, this is only the beginning. <laughs> and the text would appear on the screen, and the music would cut out abruptly. And they'd say one final line of dialogue to leave the audience with the ultimate sense of excitement. Like what? I don't know. Greetings, fellow web surfer. Be sure to subscribe to our channel before you go. It'll be just like we're friends. Not that I need friends. <laughs> Please don't go. So we still got the same guys. We're just gonna be doing new stuff. No freelancers, no AI. Church is gone. Carolina's gone. Are we going back to like just basics? So they're stuck. Oh, they crash landed here. We are back. Caboose! Christ, I thought you were in that thing. Wait, who is in that thing? Hello, private. Oh shit. What? What is the one thing I tell you each and every morning? Wake up, the other thing. For the love of God, stop sleeping naked. Don't let anyone <laughs> touch the tank. <laughs> okay, I can see where you're going with this. Until we're rescued, we need to be more mindful of the supplies that we have. I know, I know. Ration the food, maintain our equipment. Brush your Stuck. teeth, don't talk to strangers. Brush your teeth, don't sleep naked. While they're trying to brush their teeth. And always... <laughs> Report in to me. Do we blah, have blah, to? Blah. Yes. I even put up that old blue team organizational chart to help demonstrate the point. Yeah, but we never really listened to that. Church just whatever happened to Griff's sister? To them eventually, or we wouldn't. Whatever. It was an inspiration to us all. Well, Church and Carolina decided to run off without so much as a goodbye. So it's up to me to keep us all together. Maybe if someone hadn't have crashed the ship, we wouldn't be in this mess. Oh, wait a second. Why are you looking at me when you say that? I just have a hard time believing the thousands of well-trained crew members were to blame for the incident. Well, they definitely didn't survive it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You proud of yourself? No. Yeah, no. That, that's too soon. Pro probably too soon for sound effects, too. Too soon. Uh, oh, God, the best. <laughs> yeah, that's too soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I couldn't agree more, sir. But it looks great. What he's gonna say. Oh, right, yeah. Just got a little excited. You are the worst kind of person. Boy, morons. We've got a situation on our hands. Which is? The deplorable condition of Red Base. You're still hung up on that? We're stranded in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by a mysterious and seemingly uninhabited jungle, might I add, and you're worried about the condition of our makeshift fort. Besides, What's in the jungle? Our base isn't even that bad. Well, I wouldn't say that. What? What's wrong with it? Seriously? There's an enormous hole in the roof. Every night oh. it rains, I get washed into the corner. Oh, well, Skylight. Yeah, there's that. But, I mean, overall, the majority of the West Wing is made up of sandbags and rain tarps. Which reminds me, if we have rain tarps, why are we using them to cover up the hole in the roof? Listen, I think you guys are blowing this whole thing a little out of proportion. You're just saying that because you're the one that designed the base. Well, I did a better job than you would have done. That's not saying much. I bet I could at least do it in a better location. But this is the best location. The sunlight is perfect for maintaining my vegetable garden, and the faulty engine from the ship should keep us warm all winter. But aren't slip space engines extremely radioactive? It doesn't seem safe. Well, that would explain why my hair keeps falling out. Why oh. our cabbages have three heads. I thought I was just really good at farming. No, son. <laughs> you're good at other things. Like always being on time, and maintaining your virginity. Oh, yeah? The whole thing was laughing when my garden produces a bountiful crop in the coming harvest. Glad to hear you've still got that virginity on lockdown, buddy. The cabbages do have three heads. Oh, who's David Drago? Hello, everyone. Now that we have our own YouTube channel, I've taken the liberty of reorganizing everything for a streamlined viewing experience. Just hit subscribe to put it to use. You're supposed to convince them to subscribe, not put them to sleep, you loser. <sighs> I hate him so much. I hope I sync that up nicely. Okay. Mm. Episode 3, 62, Season 11. 
can't keep stopping on 69. No! This time, my legs went out! <sighs> Come on. <laughs> Holy Christ! I haven't been this sore since that bachelorette party on Bourbon Street. You want me to believe you banged an entire bachelorette party? I want you to, but really the groom just showed up and cracked three of my ribs. That's what I thought. Why do we okay. train so much? We never had to do squats when church was in charge. Exactly. I'd say you two have fallen out of shape, but generally, in order to fall out of something, you have to be in it first. Mm. Hey, that's funny. You should try comedy, Wash. Why make one person miserable when you can work over an entire room? All right, time for sprints. <laughs> Fuck you. I want five laps around the canyon. Die in a fire. Six laps around the canyon. Hey, why is no. he down here? Shouldn't you be making him do dumbbell hurls or inverted push-ups or something? I think he's having one of his off days. Oh. Mm. Isn't every one of these days an off day? Ben, it has come to my attention that we've been approaching this base problem from the wrong direction. What do you mean? I mean we've been approaching it from the outside. What we should have been focusing on was the interior. The layout is all wrong. Well, upon reflection, I realize the that the my military expertise requires more private quarters. A place where I can reflect upon my past victories and contemplate on my non-existent failures. He wants a man cave. The whole thing's a man cave, really, isn't it? Okay, I give up. The sandbags. <laughs> what? That's the wall? Griff, I asked you to give me a proper erection, not to stiff me. So glad Donut's not here. Hey, it's not like I'm some expert carpenter or something. This isn't even carpentry. This is stacking That's the wall. in a straight line. Poorly. Well, it's all like <laughs> fine, so build a bridge and get over it. Hey, Griff, when I build the bridge, should I use a few sandbags? Or, you know, something fucking useful? Useful or not. I hereby declare that from this point forward, this side of the wall is to be reserved for my own personal use. Wait, wait, wait. You get half of the base all to yourself? What about me and Griff? Sorry, Simmons. Afraid I can't hear you from the next room. These walls are just too thick. But I... Enjoy your new roommate. <laughs> <laughs> Ground rules. If there's a sock on the door, do not come in. Uh. We don't have socks. Or a door. And I don't have an internet connection. But we've all got to find some way to masturbate, now don't we? Die. Grow. Oh, At least the sucks on the door, I guess. Oh, I don't know what that even means. Still <laughs> oh, dear. Standing in the corner, caboose. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I just... Is yeah, he depressed? I just you sometimes. I know you do, buddy. He was your leader for a really long time. Yeah, I have just... I am just so lost without him. I, I don't even recognize my own face. Well, you don't have your old helmet anymore, Caboose. Also, your helmet and face are not the same thing. Oh, God, that explains the blinking contest. Why did you have to tell me that? Oh, it's, you just made it worse. Look, oh. Caboose, I'm sure that somewhere out there, Church is thinking about how much he misses you, too. You really think so? Shut up. 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 Shut I go on a walk by myself, I guess. That won't be depressing at all. Oh no, he's in a he's in a bad place. I'm walking by myself now. Uh, uh, <laughs> what am I gonna do with him? Oh dear. No? Where am I? Oh, well, that looks nice. Oh my god! A giant person! It's not gonna be spit. The hell does he mean? That's gross. Okay, so season 11 has started. Alright, so. Um. Pretty basic at the moment. The red versus blue team are just on this unknown planet. They crash landed. 
Uh, that wasn't quite clear at the end of season 10 that they'd crash landed here. I, I didn't know that. I thought they were going back to the gulch and then I was looking at the place going that doesn't look like the gulch because there's cliffs and stuff and it looks very pretty. But yeah, as we learned, they've crash landed on a planet and now they're waiting to be rescued because they've got to be surviving on unlimited resources and they're all going to die horribly. And they mentioned uh, the forest around them, uninhabited forest. So I'm thinking there's going to be some kind of uh, things in there that are going to come out and make life tricky for them. Um, Caboose is just going for a walk. So I'm thinking he's going to find himself in the woods and be chased by dragons or cavemen or the people from Lost. I've got no clue, but I'm looking forward to it. So season 11 is on the way. One, two, and three done. Coming up next week, four, five, and six. So I'll catch you then. Thanks for watching.